What up? So the topic for today's video is can you daily drive a K truck? In my opinion, short answer is no. Long answer though is yes. So I've been daily driving my K truck for about a week and a half now. And what I mean by daily driving is I mean this is literally my only registered car on the road right now. I never drive the Miata and my other car I'm getting ready to sell. So in this video, I'm gonna go over why you technically can daily a K truck. You just really have to plan accordingly. So what I mean by plan accordingly is that we all know the K truck is small can't really fit too much you can fit a couple things back here you can fit a couple things in here but it does have this huge six by four and a half foot bed back here which is great so when i bought it i was like i don't even really mind the 2c life i had like five miatas in the past like all this is great but what i didn't take in consideration what happened to me a couple times is like i would have a bunch of merch back here i'd have a bunch of stuff back here period and it would start raining so that's what i mean by plan accordingly you can't get caught up on the fact that it's nice and sunny right now if i know i'm gonna have a lot of boxes in the back or i'm gonna have a lot of things back here or even if let's pretend you just have a passenger let's say you're going somewhere and i only have this one box but i have a passenger like do i really want to put that on that person's lap that that makes it very uncomfortable so you got to make sure if you're traveling with two people is it going to be sunny the whole day am i going to have a lot of stuff back here like i don't want these shirts to get wet stuff like that and something else you don't think about till it actually happens is let's pretend i have everything full next to me i have the back full and i want to stop and get food or i want to go to the bank or something but there's no parking lot so i'll park i'll be whatever i'll park like down the block and like oh i'm just gonna walk and then you realize oh crap i have no coverage so like i'll get out the car there's been so many times while i'll get out you know what i mean i have two three boxes back here i gotta walk down the block to get food or something or i gotta go to the bank i gotta take some money out and i'm like okay boom 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 i'm walking and i'm like oh crap Someone can literally just pick up this box and steal it. Is someone gonna do that? Probably not, but it's still an uncomfortable feeling of like, damn, I can't even park my car anywhere. Like, what am I supposed to do? There's no double parking in front of the spot I wanna go to. So like, that's something else you gotta really just plan accordingly. Like, there's been times where I've had a bunch of stuff in the back and I wanna go somewhere and I just can't go because I'm like, damn, someone can really just steal everything. So the second thing I wanna touch on is gas. So I'm about to get gas right now. As you see, it's pretty much empty and you have to use 93 well i don't know if you have to use 93 but what i've been told is that the gas in japan is leaded and all of our gas is unleaded so i was just told to use 93 and that's what i've been doing so let's see exactly how much it's going to be i think it's about a nine gallon tank all right gas is all full and it's 8.3 so yeah about a nine gallon tank 28 dollars and as much as you think that that's going to last you a long time people every time they see me are like hey i know this thing must be great on gas and I guess it would be if I didn't drive it all the way to Red Limiter nonstop, but like gas in this really isn't the best. Cause think about it, it's a four speed. I'm always driving far, I'm always on the highway. So I'm always high in the RPMs. I'm shifting late and it's just not as good as gas as people think. So don't think if you're gonna buy this, you're gonna do deliveries, gas is gonna be amazing. Not really, I don't think it's any better than like a Civic or Corolla or a fuel efficient car around the same price range. And you get to get more space, more comfortable and all that. Next, let's do a little shameless plug. So these tees are dropping on May 13th. I think they came out pretty sick. They're all one of one too, cause the tie dye prints are different on everything, but I think they look really good. They look exactly like my truck. Ta -da. back to the video maintenance wise i drained the oil twice i drained the coolant twice and i bought a new battery that's pretty much it but i've heard that k vehicles in general are pretty bulletproof and then comfortability wise if you do little things like this like i sound detonating the whole thing because my engine here if you have a sandbar acti i guess it might not be too loud but this definitely helps and if you add a modern radio with bluetooth aux and all that stuff it definitely helps as well and those are kind of my biggest points like for me i think a k truck is perfect if you have a business or you're trying to do promo or something like for me if i didn't have way for the fame i don't think i would ever buy a k-truck just living in new york that is if i live somewhere else like moto cheese and motor rider like you guys go off-roading and stuff like that's dope i can't do that over here so i have no purpose for it i probably would buy like a k-van or a k-car instead but if you have a small business you're looking to get something cheaper something unique something that's obviously going to draw attention like a car like this will draw attention from everyone if i had an r34 you get a specific amount of people who know what you drive but when you drive this, it doesn't matter. Everyone is just gonna be like, oh wow, thumbs up, this is cool. So like, that's something I really like about it. Obviously, this thing is an absolute blast to drive. I don't want you guys to think that this truck is not fun. Like, like I love it. I love driving it. I love the fact that it's slow, but you still feel like you're going fast. Like, it's the Miata feeling. I know I use that word way too much, but it's fun before i end this video long story short let's say you have a top of line k truck five speed ac 
dump, everything. Can you daily drive a K truck? In my opinion, yes. You just gotta take those things as into consideration. If you're gonna have things on the back, make sure you're going to that location and back. You can't make little stops like this. Like I'm going to the shop right now. If I had a bunch of boxes here or a bunch of groceries or something like that, I couldn't leave it here because someone could take it. And something I don't really like talking about, but obviously daily driving a K truck wouldn't be the safest thing ever. But if you don't mind that like I don't, do it. And if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, definitely tag me because I will be selling my truck in the next couple weeks and I still want to see you guys' trucks. Peace.